You're looking like you fell in love tonight For Pete's sake, so me pull it together We hooked up one time, it was kind of whatever Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, what I'm going to be doing is a Snapchat Q&A. So I put on my Snapchat story for you guys to ask me questions and a bunch of you did. So I'm just going to be opening Snapchat. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, I'll put it right here. It's the same as my Twitter. It's the same as my you now. And I think that's it. So yeah, I'll pretty much just get straight into it because there's not much more to it. So the first Snapchat is from Rachel and she asks, Would you rather date Tanner or Jack? So I don't think she knows this, but Jack's my sister's boyfriend. So I definitely rather date Tanner considering I'd never date Jack because he could be my brother one day if that were to happen. The second question is from Emily and she asks what's my favorite show? My favorite show by far is How I Met Your Mother. It's been my favorite show for years. I've seen the entire series like nine times over. I like pretty much just watch the series on a loop because there's so many episodes in a season and there's so many seasons that you kind of like forget what happened so like I was just watching it for like years. I'm on a little break now so I want to rewatch it in a couple months and like it be more forgotten. So I'm kind of taking a break right now and I started Friends. I don't like it as much but it's still good and yeah so moral of the story I love How I Met Your Mother. Definitely my favorite show. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Leashy? Leashy? I think it's Leashy. She asks do you play sports and if you do what do you do? I dance. I feel like a lot of people say that's not a sport. I think it's a sport. The dance classes I do take are I take two types of jazzes, ballet, technically two types of ballet, hip-hop, and then contempt and lyrical, but this year we kind of meshed contempt and lyrical. I think that's about it. I used to take acro, but I didn't do that this year. I don't know if I'm going to do that next year. Anyways, next question. This is from Paula, I think. I think that's how you say her name. Can you do a prank on Tanner and Jack? Yes, I think I might do that eventually. I don't know. I'm not creative enough to come up with a prank, so if I come up with one, I definitely will. And she also asks, what's your favorite high school memory? I don't know, there's a lot of them. I remember in my earlier years of high school, like grade nine and 10, me and a bunch of my friends, like we live close to the mountains and close to like the woods. So like we're kind of in the city or on the end, end of the city and then there's prairies and then there's mountains, which is usually how it works. But um, a lot of my friends live out past prairies like at the beginning of the mountains almost. And so we would go out there and have fires and just like sometimes even sleep there. And it was just, I remember it being so, so fun and I wish we did it more. We'd just like stay up all night around this fire, just like listening to music and talking and it was so fun. We did it so much. Yeah, and I miss that a lot. So I hope we get to do that again. Marissa says, do you think you could shout me out on Snapchat? I sure can, what's your Snapchat? Let me see. Everyone go follow cool Marissa. Caitlin asks, what are all the concerts you've been to? I have, oh my gosh, I have no idea. I feel like there's way too many to even think of. Oh, I could name all the big ones, I guess, but I can, I just went to Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've been to Maroon 5, One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer, All Time Low, 1975 was amazing. Well, they were all amazing, but Pretty Reckless was cool. I know I'm gonna miss thousands and I'm gonna be editing this and be like shit. If I remember other ones, I'll put them here because I can't think of all of them right now. Think of other like big ones that most people would know about, I'll put them here, but like concerts are like my favorite thing to do ever. So I've been to a lot of them. So it's so hard to like remember on the spot, like every single one, right? This question's from Emma. What are my favorite makeup products? Like specifically the brand or like highlighter? I'm gonna go with the basic, like highlighter. Yeah, probably highlighter. <laughs> And then she also asks, what's your dream job? My dream job, well, not only to like continue with this YouTube thing, because that'd be amazing. Um, I've always wanted a fashion brand and a fashion line since I was really young. Well, actually, okay, my dream, dream job has always been, like, obviously I want a fashion line and stuff like that. I like to be a fashion designer. But also I think being a celebrity stylist would be super, super cool. Or like a musician's stylist. When I was really little, when I was like, I still am obsessed with like bands and music. But when I was like really, really obsessed with bands, I would always be so jealous of those stylists that would get to like dress them and like go on tour with them and to, like tell them what to wear every night for their show, right? That would be a dream job. Like, cause then you can also like go on tour with these people and see their show every night and be a part of their team. I don't know, I think it'd be amazing. But Sydney Hathaway asks, what part of Canada, Canada? <laughs> What part of Canada are you from? And P.S. I love you. Oh, I love you too. I'm from Alberta, Canada. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. But I was born in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. But I left like a couple months after I was born, so I don't remember it. So I'm like from Calgary. I was born, not born, but I was raised in Calgary, so. Another Emma asks, when did you get your first boyfriend and was it in high school? I'm still sick, so if my voice is screwed up, that's why. Um, I've never had a boyfriend. I've always had like, not always. I've had like things with guys and like I've liked people, but I've never, yeah, 
I've never like been with someone in that way. Yeah. I'm single single. Mira asks, Cole Sprouse or Dylan Sprouse? Cole Sprouse. After Riverdale, I'm obsessed with Cole Sprouse. Melissa asks, how long have I been dancing? I've been dancing... Six years. Yeah. My parents put me in dance when I was really little, but I quit like immediately. I think I only did like a year of it. And then I started up back again later. So I've done it for six years and running. Lexi says, how long have you and Tanner been friends? By the way, I love you. Love you too. Me and Tanner have been friends for a year. No, probably a little bit less than a year. Actually, I don't know. It could be a year. I don't know the exact date when we met, so I'm sorry. I don't know. I think a year, about a year. I'll say that. I don't know how to say your last name, but Adriana Masri, Macri. She asked, what made you start YouTube? And it's actually funny because I've always wanted, I've had my channel since 2010 and I don't think I've wanted to post videos for that long. Probably, honestly, maybe 2012 I started wanting posting videos. Yeah, I've always been so scared to post a video. I feel like a lot of people have that problem. They want to start YouTube, but they're scared of what people say. And a lot of people will say bad things. I'm not going to lie to you about that. They'll like make jokes and like kind of tease you and at first it's weird and hard I guess it depends your mindset right at first it's hard to take and you kind of just have to brush them off and not give a shit it's hard it's easier said than done for sure and it was weird at first for me but now if anybody says anything I don't like get negative comments like oh your channel sucks like uh you should stop doing what you're doing I'll get teased for it for sure and I will never blink an eye about it honestly and if you don't worry about it and you don't even like you can respond or don't respond or you could you could just be like huh yeah they'll stop and you just have to be confident about it and it's again easier said than done but as you start posting videos and you like grow along with your channel it will get easier for sure so anyways i was super scared to post videos at first and then at the end of last summer i just said fuck it but the reason i did that is because <laughs> My, um, in, last summer, my parents left for a music festival and they were on like a two week trip in the summer. And me and my sister were like, yeah, let's have some parties. Not a good idea. So the house got like trashed. They figured it out, obviously. And um, me and Taya were grounded. That, that, that happened like halfway through last summer. And then me and my sister were grounded for like pretty much the second half of summer. And that was hell. So that really taught us our lesson. I don't think we're ever throwing a party again without the permission obviously and yeah so it was literally hell when everybody's like partying and stuff and you're stuck in your house I'm pretty sure everybody knows that feeling being grounded anyways um I was stuck in my house bored and I finally picked up the camera and filmed something it's a terrible video and it's still up I think it was a makeup tutorial my first video and it's the cringiest thing I've ever seen but I don't think I'll ever put it on private don't take my word for that I might because it's really cringy I don't know I think it's cool to have my first video up on my channel for now at least I think it's I don't know. I hate watching it. I don't know. I like my hair in it. I think it's cool. <laughs> I started YouTube because I was grounded in my house and I was really bored. And in the long run, I'm going to thank my parents for grounding me last summer because if they hadn't, I don't know if or when I would start this channel and if I'd be like where I am now, right? So I think being grounded for a month was definitely worth having this channel. And like, yeah, no, for sure. Taylor Ken 17 asks, what is your favorite song? By the way, I love you. I love you too. Um, I can never answer this question. I feel like I listen to music more than your average person. It's kind of an issue actually. I'm not really good with like sitting by myself in silence. I don't know if that's a mental issue. <laughs> like I can, I just don't enjoy it. But I'm always listening to music, I love music. And so I could never pinpoint one song, I don't think. So I have a playlist on my Spotify, I'll put it here. You can watch my playlist videos. My most recent playlist video are like my favorite songs. And all of my playlist videos are like my favorite songs. And like there's a group of them. I don't think I could ever like pick one. Maya says, would you ever consider dating Tanner? Um, uh, I know Tanner's watching this. <laughs> um, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna consider it. That's a dick thing to say. I don't think I'd say that about many people. I'd consider dating a lot of people. I don't know, that's a hard question. Yeah, I'd consider dating a lot of people. Consider is kind of like a gray area word. Um, yes, I don't think it's happening. I don't really... I don't know. It's a hard question. Um, Haley says, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I love you so much. I love you so much too. Um, again, another super hard question. It's like my favorite, favorite song question. There's so, 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 so many places I want to go. I've always wanted to travel so much. Me and my family 
are super different that way. My entire family is not very like keen on like going super far away and experiencing like different cultures and stuff. I feel like I'm the only person in my family that's like really into that. So I've wanted to travel for pretty much, well, forever. I've always wanted to go to Australia. I've always wanted to go to Europe, everywhere in Europe. Um, Ireland, Britain, France, Germany, Netherlands, Iceland, Greenland, I don't care, literally everywhere. Um, South Africa would be cool. Africa in general would be cool. Um, South America, I would go everywhere in South America. Um, and pretty much anywhere in the world, I would go. If you gave me a plane ticket to anywhere in the world, I would go. Unless, obviously, it's in like a country that's like in the middle of war. But that's anybody, I feel. Oh, and why? Just because I want to like travel and experience new cultures. I feel like being able to travel and speak languages and com communicate with people on the other side of the world and like just know their culture. I feel like you'd be such like more of a wise person. And I think you'd learn more from that than going to university any day. Erica says, what is your favorite place? Mm? Yeah. What's your favorite place to go in Calgary? Mm -hmm. Honestly, the Saddle Dome. <laughs> Can't really think of anything else Saddle Dome. The Saddle Dome is our arena for like hockey games and concerts, so it, it is called the Saddle Dome and it's shaped like a saddle. Look it up. It's I'm not lying to you. Look up the Saddle Dome. Calgary Saddle Dome. You know how in like, if anybody watches How I Met Your Mother, how they wanted to make that restaurant shaped like a cowboy hat or whatever it was? We literally have an arena shaped like a saddle. Like, they were making a joke in that show and our city has literally done that. I don't know if they were making fun of our city, they probably were. But Ariana says, favorite YouTuber. I love watching a lot of people, but I feel like my favorites right now are David Dobrik and all of his friends. I can't just pick one. David Dobrik and like Zane, Heath, Matt, Todd. I don't know, like all of them. I love them. Jason. They're all super hilarious. And then Keena, JC, and all of his friends. So like Dom, Bobby, Harrison, you know, like all of their friends. And then who's my celebrity crush? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them. I love Ryan Reynolds. I've always loved Ryan Reynolds. And I... Love Dylan O'Brien. Dylan O'Brien's super cute. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'd have to say Ryan Reynolds and Dylan O'Brien. Jamie Stone says, how do your parents feel about your YouTube? And my parents love my YouTube, if they're being honest with me. Um. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, my parents are super supportive of it. Jaylene, I think I'm saying that right? J underscore Lean asks, what quote do you live by if you have one? I feel like the quote I live by the most is... The one I actually say to myself a lot and it like makes me physically get up if I'm feeling lazy or something or if I like want to rest that night is you can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> this might be weird but like if I have like a feeling like if I'm debating and I but I know I want to go I'll always tell myself I can sleep when I'm dead and I get up and do it. <laughs> I think it's a good quote to live by. I don't know if it is or not but I've always for years I've lived by that quote. I'll just tell myself I can sleep when I'm dead. All right let's go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell. Also, let me know if you want me to start doing notification shoutouts because I totally can. I don't know if you guys want that or not, but I can totally start doing that. Follow me on Snapchat. I'll put the barcode right here if I can edit that well. I guess we'll see. Is it there? Let's hope, right? Thank you for watching. Comment video suggestions, whatever you guys want to see, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.